Hello again. Well, the new year is with us, 2022, and I'm sure you are thinking, is it going to be a better year than 2021? With all the problems that the world went through with the pandemic and the panic of the governments, etc., etc., is 2022 going to be better? People all around here in France are saying, bon année, bon année, and that translates in English as Happy New Year. Now, wishing someone a Happy New Year is really quite meaningless because it's wishes, and wishes have no substance whatsoever. They're just empty words. And so when, if you get into this habit, or when you use this form of words, it's like, hello, ça va? How are you? No interest at all in the real answer to that question. This coming year, is it going to be better than the last year? Well, that depends. It depends really upon where you are and what kingdom you're living in. Now, there is a kingdom which is known as God's kingdom. And those who have been born again have been translated out of the world. I'm reading from Colossians. Colossians... Um, Chapter 1 and verse 13. The Father has delivered and drawn us to himself out of the control and dominion of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. Those of us who have been born again, we are not superior. We are those who have become humble enough to listen and take notice of what Jesus said. He said, you must be born again. And this born again experience takes us out of the kingdoms of the world and translates us into God's kingdom. Now, let me use a, a football example. I'm not a great fan of football, and maybe you don't know some of the names I'm going to use, but in the Premier League in Britain, there are some big name football, probably you've heard of Manchester United and Liverpool and Chelsea. Now, I picked those four because one's in Liverpool and one's in Manchester and one's in London. Now, suppose you say, well, what kind of a year did Liverpool have? Well, Liverpool had a brilliant year. They got a new manager and this German manager is really good and uh, they won the championship or the top of the league, really, in, in uh, the British football tables had a very good year. But let's suppose that Chelsea, the London club, had less of a good year because of their manager wasn't so good or whatever happened. And, and of course, uh, you've, got, um, you've got Manchester City or Manchester United. How was their year? Well, it's variable. Which kind of year they had, or what kind of year they had, depended upon the managerial skills, whether that manager and the managerial team trained those players to play to their best and committed to the team and so on. And, and if so, they did very, very well. But it depends. If I said, well, what kind of a year did you have? Depends which team you were in. Were you in Manchester team or Liverpool team or London team? All depends. Now, it all depends for you as well. If you're in the world, 2022 is going to be terrible. It's going to be a year of increased disasters. And uh, my wife is prophetic and she, she's had a very strong word about this. It's going to be awful mess in the world. More signs that Jesus said there would be from Matthew 24 and Luke 21. If you read those uh, scriptures, you'll find that the world is getting towards the end of the last days, the last of the last days. We are approaching tribulation time. And tribulation is not with us, but this is this is like the like the birth pangs. The, the the birth is not there yet, but those birth pangs, the pains of it are there. And we are in those birth pains of the tribulation. And the world is going to be suffering extensive sickness and, and, and catastrophe. It's going to be catastrophic in the world because the world is run by the devil. But if you are born again and you are translated 
into the kingdom of God, you're in his team and his team wins. Veronica and I are blessed. We had a tremendously blessed 2021. We really have had an excellent year in health, in finance, in relationships and so on, in the ministry. Everything has, has just prospered and we've prospered with the prosperity of God. And although we're a year older, you know, we're, we're even uh, happier, more contented, more fulfilled than we were a year ago because we've been translated. Colossians 1, 13, the Father has translated us into his team, into his kingdom, the kingdom of his son. Now, if you're a little bit sceptical about what this coming year is going to be like, if you're in the world, the world is full of anxiety, fear, fear of sickness, fear of loss of job, fear of this, fear of that. And there's no hope in the world, no hope at all. But if you have been born again and you've been humble enough to say, Lord, I need you. Without you, I can do nothing. Without you, I am nothing. We are nothing. Jesus said that clearly. We're nothing, we possess nothing, and we are nothing without him. We need to be grafted in to him. We need to be in Christ, like a, a gardener will come to the, the tree and put in a fruitful branch into the trunk of the tree. It's called grafting. We need grafting in to Christ. If you've not been born again, you need to pray a simple prayer. Father, I recognise that I'm a sinner and I need forgiveness and I come to you to ask you for forgiveness because of the blood of Jesus on the cross. And I receive that forgiveness and now my heart is clean. I ask you to come into my heart by your Holy Spirit. And now, if you've done that prayer, said that prayer with sincerity, that means you are born again. Rejoice, you've just changed teams. You have been translated by the words of your mouth into the kingdom of God's Son. Amen. God bless you and welcome to the family.